hi welcome back to my channel um, hopefully this video will be very short um, but I wanted to do a video about uh, a discussion about how I rate my books um, so um, I belong to Goodreads and I have all my books uh, that I've read and all the books that are on my wish list are in Goodreads and I have a long long list okay so I always start a book with a five star rating that's how I start every single book that I read. I, I start out reading and I want this book to be a five star. So I start out with five star. As I start reading and I have a very a bad attention span. So um, I don't know if I have ADD or what, but um, I get bored very quickly. So if a book starts to um, take my attention away, I immediately drop it to a four star okay so if a book um, if I continue to read the book and I read from the start to finish and like one sitting which ha never happens that much um, I immediately give it five stars because that kept my attention throughout the whole time and I did not want to put the book down I didn't want to I didn't want to do cleaning I didn't want to watch TV I just didn't want to do anything else and that immediately for me that gets five stars if I can't put the book down. Um, that doesn't really happen that much, so um, I just wanted to let you know. Okay, so um, if I'm reading a book and something bothers me, sometimes it's the grammar. If someone writes a book and doesn't put commas, doesn't put quotation marks when they're talking, um, and I find it very difficult to read when there's grammar errors. So that immediately drops it down to a four. Okay. Um, another thing, another thing that bothers me when I read is when the author continuously curses throughout the whole book. There's no need for unnecessary language. And immediately I drop that down to a four. Okay. Um, another reason I would drop down to a four, um, would be the names of the characters. If the names of the characters annoy me, like I can't pronounce them, or they're in another language, or it's just like, I read, when I read, I do not skip, and I read word for word, and every time I get to that name, I struggle and I can't get through it. What the heck is this name? I can't get through it. I give it a four star. Okay. That totally annoys me. I'm like, use a name that I could read. I'm like, <laughs> um, so, um, another name, another thing that, um, when I drop it down to a three, um, sometimes, um, the book is really annoying me and I just don't want to read it. And that immediately, I give it a three. Um, I drop it down because it's I'm struggling so much to read the book. But I want to finish the book. And I actually do finish the book. I give that a three. But it took me so long to read the book. That's why I give it a three. Um, technically, I don't give twos that much. Um, if I don't really like a book... I will put the book down and start something else. I have a ton of books here that I started and it just didn't interest me, but I don't want to give it a bad rating because I didn't ever finished it. Um, so I typically jump from book to book because I want something that's interesting to me. I only have an hour to read at a time and I want something that I'm going to be sitting there and read and read and read and read. I want to be engrossed in the story. I don't want to be bored. So, um, that's basically how I rate. There's sometimes all those things, the names of the characters, um, the grammar and the, um, situation or the cursing throughout the book that annoys me so much that I debate between a three, a four, a three, a four. And sometimes like I'll give it a three and a half, but I'll rate it on the, below like like the story would be so slow 
but then there's the, I read the other I go to Goodreads and I look at everybody's reviews and I was like why did everybody give this a five star I don't get it it's so slow and then I'll continue reading and continue reading then it gets fast and I really like it when it gets fast and like I can't put it down then it gets slow again and that's the ones that I give like three stars so um or um Sometimes I'll be a three and a half because it's close, close to being a four. That's really good. Um, it's keeping my attention, but um, that's how I rate on Goodreads. So if you are wondering and you are following me on Goodreads, um, that's basically how I rate my books. So I just wanted to give you an overview. Um, I don't think of anything else that um, bothers me, um, but I think that's... Um, that's how I rate it. But typically, I start every book with a five star. So, um, and that's how I drop it as um, the book, as I read the book. That's how I start rating it, you know, bringing it up and down, how I like it and what I don't like about it. Um, so, anyway, thank you for watching. I just wanted to let you know how I rate my books. And um, follow me on Goodreads. My link is below. Um, and I will see you in another video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.